So with the engine in now on the mounts, what I need to do is hook up the prop shaft and slide it out of the hole in the deadwood and uh, line up the engine on the foundations as best I can so that the prop shaft will exit the deadwood right smack in the middle of the opening. This is the deadwood from the outside. You can see the uh, outline of the old cutlass bearing arrangement bronze piece that I've since removed and scrapped pretty much. Anyway, a new stern tube will go in this spot. We'll get there in a minute, but let me go inside and get the prop shaft in place. This is the area where I will be working. This is the output flange of the transmission and there's the coupler you can see there at the bottom of the frame. So I'm going to be bolting these two together. I'm reusing the original bronze prop shaft that's uh, 7 8 inch. Um, I will be getting another one, one inch stainless steel uh, with a new coupler and all of that just because I don't have any confidence that this shaft is actually straight and that it's properly aligned with the coupler and all of that. Because of the way I've approached the engine installation I am essentially uh, lining the stern tube up with the engine rather than lining the engine up with the stern tube. Alright so here's the shaft exiting the deadwood. You can see it's pretty well centered. Looking at it from the inside it sure looks like the shaft is hitting the leading edge, the interior edge of the deadwood, but from here it's not too bad. Let's see if we can get a different angle. Alright so there it is the stern tube will slide right over this and into the deadwood and then the cutlass bearing will slide over the prop shaft and it will locate the stern tube right smack in the middle of the deadwood and that's the plan I got another cutlass bearing on order for a one inch shaft because I've decided to go with one inch stainless steel but this is looking pretty good. And here is the shaft from the port side. The stern tube will stand a little bit proud. And then that'll get fiberglass, but it's looking good. Engine alignment is think about where I want it. Now all I need is a new shaft and I'll be able to finalize that position. One of the issues I've run into is the cooling hose for the transmission. You can just see it back there. It rubs on the engine mount on the starboard side and it rubs over here on the port side. So with the engine aligned the way I want it, I'm going to have to radius out those areas so that those hoses don't chafe through with the engine vibration.